One of my favorite effects, when I'm shooting through a real optical lens, like my gorgeous Canon 5D Mark II, is something people call bokeh, or coins of light. That's the real optical thing that happens when you get depth of field and you see those beautiful sparkling lights turn into these little sharp little edges. That is just gorgeous. You don't have to know anything about filmmaking to know that, that it, it adds an intimacy to a scene and really just helps set things right. Well, one of my new favorite features in After Effects CS, CS55 is the new camera lens blur. Uh, We've been doing this for a long time in, in After Effects, but we've been faking it with Gaussian Blur, so it just looked all soft. This new effect is unbelievably controllable. It works with a mask so that we can uh, stop that happening from some things, and you can basically take a complete flat 2D layer and make it look like it's got an enormous amount of depth. Let's have a look. So this is the footage that's already rendered, and I'm just going to play this here and show you What's happening, this is the original footage with no effect in it. And we've added this visual effect of this globe on here, this burning little globe in his hand. And it gets to a point near the end where you see the little coins of light start to sparkle. And if I turn on the right effect, there we go. I was playing around with this earlier and I had it off. There we go, look at that. So we're going from this footage right here with no effect to this visual effect and the camera lens blur. If I just isolate that particular layer and have a look at it, you can see what's going on. So inside my effects control, camera lens blur is applied. I'm gonna turn, turn that off and show it to you. You know, that's still a cool effect, but if we want to start separating that effect from the actual actor, we turn that on and we can control how much the blur radius. So as we turn that up or turn that down, you can see that we're bringing that up or down. This particular demo file also includes a mat in front of his hand just to help identify different areas. You'll notice that inside the camera lens blur settings, we've got control for shape of the um, of the iris, so let me take it back to that point. You can see here it's a typical hexagon, and if I change that to a triangle, you can get these uh, interesting effects. We can also change the aspect ratio, so we've got more of an anamorphic flare kind of an effect going on. Let me just uh, do that. And some uh, other great tools in here, and we can also use a blur map. So one of the uh, other layers down here actually uses a blur map in front of his hand. And if I open this up and we play this back, you can see we've got just a simple little painted mask inside there, and that will help us direct that particular effect to a certain area. So like I said, you can start with a very flat looking file and through adding camera lens blur on different layers and adding masks, you have this amazing robustness uh, that can really bring a scene to life. Uh, let me just show you a really simple shot. This is just a, a simple night shot. I'll type in camera and get camera lens blur. Notice that it's 32-bit, and what's important there, if I jump back over to Project, hold down the Alt key option on Mac and click here twice, when I'm in 32-bit floating, and I start to do things like increase the gain and the, th uh, the threshold, and start to really introduce some super brights inside here, those are things that you can only do with 32-bit uh, floating point light. So if we start to turn up this blur radius, you can see it, it's definitely going to take a little bit more computing power, but I'm sitting here on my super fast HP Z800. Look at that. Those gorgeous coins of light. Look at that. That is just fantastic. This is something that we've been waiting for forever inside software. Now it's built right into After Effects CS55. You simply do a quick green screen pull, light the person correctly, stick them in front of a background like this, and all of a sudden you've got this amazing cinematic quality. I, I, I'll go on all night about this. I love this effect. I hope you have fun too with the brand new camera lens blur inside After Effects CS55.